for my Malvika's report came positive, so she has to quarantine for 14 days. So I would send food from home, daikari, aloo, bhaji, and uh, ganji with pudina chutney. We always eat mangalorins, eat whenever, you know, during fever, <laughs> we eat this. And fakhil, chicken cutlets. And the aloo was a spicy aloo was a bad dish because she had a sore throat. I, I slip, completely slipped my mind. <laughs> mother looks yum i wish i could taste but i'll imagine it so restaurant style thank you mom for sending me food mom has sent some yummy food spinach risotto and some grilled vegetables and cauliflower steak and corn soup thank you mom after the quarantine first time Malvika is coming to her mommy's house so I made a lot of stuff I made salad I made enchiladas the wrap and sushi okay let's go Mali after a long time okay. Hello, guys. <laughs> after COVID we are back on mom's channel yes. and we are back to eat delicious food oh boy Delicious food, always. Enjoy! Thank you! <laughs> Hello! Enjoy! Thank you so much! Enjoy. I'm making sushi with uh, uh, some cream and I'm giving serving my kids. Molly. I put some sauce on. Huh? Sushi. Sushi. Thank you, mother. This is like store no, but stuff. Mom can eat it. Jake can eat it. Mas can eat it. Really? <laughs> oh my, my mom. Fun. Forty percent taste. <laughs> How was sushi? Incredible. I can just taste the good parts of the sushi. Good mm. 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 <laughs> Recipe is in the description box. Yes. <laughs> Mali. Not garden ka Mali, ya. You have to like this. Mali. That's the signature call out for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I see. That's why she does it. That's why you said Mali. Everybody says we miss that Mali call. So my mom made this a signature call for yeah, me. They... How is it? Akhil? Yum. <laughs> I love it. Very nice. I didn't pay you know for this to no. say yum. Little bit. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I had a lot of leftover like kidney beans, corn, and uh, chickpeas, rice, and I thought of turning in these into burger patties. I didn't have bread crumbs, so I toasted a few slices of bread. And um, you have to put this in a small grinder, chutney grinder, and pulse it for two three times to get uh, bread crumb consistency, like this, and keep it aside one lime and i always keep um, roasted walnut powder i'm using this also for patties light soy and powder this flaxseed uh, and we have to mix this with a little water to get uh, to get a gel consistency this will help in binding the patties well because this is going to help hold these burgers while frying because you are not going to use eggs. So you have to leave this for at least for 20 minutes. This is leftover kidney beans, corn, chickpeas, and rice. This is kitchari. This will give amazing flavor to the burger patties. And here I have uh, chopped onions, chopped garlic, diced mushroom, a 
you have to this is olive oil and you can use any oil heat oil in a white pan and uh, add onions and garlic and uh, saute them until you get nice caramelized brown color then you add diced mushroom add dried italian herb, mixed herbs chili flakes and i'm going to add uh, indian uh, onion and garlic masala also you can skip this part you can just add chili flakes and uh, saute them until the moisture has evaporated we don't want soggy patties in a large bowl mash leftover kidney beans corn chickpeas mixture using an immersion blender or potato masher or with the fork A few little chunks of beans or corn here and there will add nice texture to the patties. This is perfectly mashed. I'll add lime juice and mixture of onion, garlic and mushroom and uh, leftover rice. breadcrumbs freshly ground pepper and salt salt to taste and this is protein powder you can skip this part and the roasted walnut powder tomato ketchup and soy flaxseed mixture and um, you have to mix all these with your hands to fold it and combine it until it's all one uniform consistency if it is too uh, soggy, you can add breadcrumbs. Add sriracha sauce. Perfect consistency. Now take burger size patty mixture, then gently press them flat to form even patties. Perfect. You can refrigerate this uh, for an hour or uh, until completely cooled. After making the tikkis, after some time, you know, it started raining so badly. I thought of ordering french fries from outside but i think i have to fry uh, chips at home only so i'll show you the video uh, this is a burger bun i'm going to toast this burger bun and uh, look at this then it took two hours to clean our kitchen and uh, we had to put two umbrellas outside the window invented by jake Setlani. <laughs> and the water stopped coming inside the kitchen Peel the potato skin and cut lengthwise, little thick uh, in size, like this. And uh, you have to, uh, do not overcrowd the pan. Uh, you have to fry it in batches. You have to fry the ch fried chips until the potatoes are, potatoes are cooked. And remove with a slotted spoon and place the potatoes on paper kitchen towel. 
let's fry these babies and you have to flatten this patty uh, even more uh, uh, heat oil in a pan and add the patties for um, fry the patties for to five to six minutes on each side or until they are turned golden brown and crispy And for my younger son, I'm going to make a cheeseburger. For that, I'm going to cut this burger into two and I'm going to apply a little butter on both sides. And I'm going to toast this bun until really golden and toasted, like this. And I'm going to spread enchilada sauce on, on the bottom, one side, and the other side I leave as it is. And place the uh, cheese slice on top of hot crispy patty and it will melt a little bit and place this uh, patty with cheese top of this bun and top it up with brown onion sliced onion perfect and and sliced tomatoes You can add any lettuce leaf or uh, arugula leaves, any lettuce. And enjoy this amazing veg burger with french fries and enchilada dipping sauce with ketchup. Jai Ko! Monsoon time, thunderstorm oh time, God, burger, vegetarian burger. That is so big. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you so much. This is so big. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That you can eat later, so I have to make. Comment below if you think mom should start a burger place. Yes, uh, sure. Uh, this looks so good. Uh, Elderson uh, just turned vegan. So, no dairy products, so no butter, no cheese. I'm going to uh, slice and toast this until they are nice and toasted on both sides and I'm going to apply enchilada sauce on both the slice because no cheese, no butter so they will give good flavor and I'm going to top it up with the uh, hot uh, crispy patty and brown onions, tomatoes and lettuce and uh, I'm going to serve with enchilada sauce and french fries and a little bit of ketchup. Dairy product. Yes. Angel. Thank you. Hope you like this. I can't see. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, try that. It's exactly like meat. It's amazing. You guys don't need meat. <laughs> morning view look at this umbrella thank you Jake Satlani for a great invention so water stopped coming inside the kitchen otherwise whole night I had to uh, clean the floor and um, my kitchen is dark at the moment look at this but it's worth it this morning I just want to go easy on cooking so I made just a simple huli rasa huli saru with the shendige, this is from Mangalore store, my daughter bought. I'm gonna fry this and have it white rice. This is amazing. I'll, I'll put the link in the description box. This is nice and katta and sweet and spicy, pepper spice. This amazing curry. Just 
tomato rasam or huli rasa you can say shendege and hot steamed rice perfect lunch look at this from our building view whole trees uprooted oh my god <laughs> 